Hello everyone, welcome back. We just got to Kushaldasu. We just checked in our hotel, but now we're going to lunch to grab some food. So we'll see you there in a bit. So we came to this place called Ray Beach and it's right by the water, maybe five feet and you're right there. Thinking a while, we'll go down to the bottom. I got a burger. Actually, we both got burgers, so we'll show you in a bit, but Andrea found this place. It's actually a bar too, so it's good that they have food and you can order drinks as well. And even down here, you can go down some steps and get a drink or order some food by the water and overlook the water. And some people are even swimming down there. I ordered the strawberry lemonade and Eddie copied me, of course. <laughs> It's really sweet. It tastes like the Minute Maid push pops they get like at theme parks when they're all nice and cold. It's very, very sweet, but very refreshing on a hot day. So I got the Dallas beef, which has a mixture of rib meat, pastrami, pickles, cheddar cheese. It looks really good. And the fries, I tried one, it's pretty good. I'm not sure what type of flavoring they have. And I got the classic, and she'll try that one now. This is a huge burger. I got the classic cheeseburger. Oh, it's dripping. I could barely bite into it, but bread is fresh and toasted. And the meat is also very fresh. You can tell they make up everything here from scratch. And this fries came with a, um, a dip. It looks like a sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, sweet and sour sauce, more sweet than sour. And the fries are good. I like the shape. It's an interesting shape I hadn't seen before. Okay, I'm gonna take the first bite. It is pretty big, so I had to cut it. But whew, that didn't work out. You can see this has a ton of stuff. Mm. It's good. So my burger fell apart as you saw, but it's pretty good. I really like especially the cheddar cheese on it. it makes a big difference. And the pastrami, it's okay. I'd rather have bacon, but of course in Turkey you don't really find that. I think the rib meat does make a big difference. So we finished our lunch and we really liked it and it's a really cool atmosphere that they had there with the decor and you're right next to the water of course. So that was a good find by Andrea. But now, as you've noticed, it's pretty hot so we are going to Migros, which is a local grocery store. And that's one of the tips too when you're traveling, you spend a little more on some of the things you like, but some of the things that don't really matter as much like where you get your water, etc., some snacks maybe. Just go to the local stores and you'll get it for a much better price. Water and Okay. <laughs> we'll just take these in our fridge that we have in our hotel and we'll be good to go. So we took a quick break in our room, but now we're back out and we're headed to the marina. There's a gas station by the water for the boats. Yeah, there's a lot of restaurants here. It's pretty cool, but you can't really walk much around the marina. All these boats are docked. But um, we do see now a path that we can go sort of by the beach and there's actually a castle at the very end. I don't know if it'll still be open. I think we'll walk along that and then we'll have some dinner. So we just got to this first area, which is pretty busy. They have a lot of different shops and cafes and even people just singing out here. So we're gonna check it out a bit. We're still not at our final destination, but this seems like a good spot just to relax a bit. The reason we're here actually is because tomorrow we'll be going to Ephesus and that's maybe like a 20 minute drive, but we'll have to show you that tomorrow. Today, we're just gonna relax and enjoy here. So this was around a 20 minute walk and we're almost there, but I want to mention that we love to walk everywhere and this is no exception. You get to see more of the city and just discover a bit more. Seems like if you want to rent a boat or go on a boat tour, this is the place to come. So now you know. So we're gonna try to go in while there's still some light. Try to avoid all the people trying to take pictures too. So we're exploring and it looks pretty cool because in here it's more like a park than an actual castle. It's worth a visit definitely if you're by the water too. Take a picture of me. We definitely weren't expecting this to be a full-blown park. There's a lot of walkways that you can go through and several different spots for pictures. Yeah, we haven't seen anything that would mark, I guess, why it would be Pigeon Island. Of course, there are a lot of birds here. I also want to note that one of the reviews I saw for this place was that it was pretty bad and boring, but I don't know why. It's first of all free, so perfect. You don't lose anything by coming in here, and it's actually pretty nice too. Pro tip, read stuff online, but still make your own decision once you explore it, because you never know. So we came across some information that said this is actually called Guvergin Adesu, which is actually Pigeon Island. And that's where Kush Adesu derives its name from. So that makes more sense. 
and it was built to fortify the city so makes more sense that was a cool quick uh, stop and now we're gonna go find some food I think it's much more alive at night than during the day <laughs> so we came to this fish restaurant that's just by our hotel actually it's right next to it and it looks pretty nice here we'll see how the food is and we won't eat too much because it's already late but we do need to have dinner of course I just noticed that there's a fish tank behind you <laughs> it looks cool on the camera I ordered a koi paneri and that is grilled cheese it's similar to what we had in Antalya I also ordered mujved which is a zucchini fritter it's got zucchini a little bit of egg batter and carrots I thought I was ordering this last time we were in Chanakale and I ended up getting zucchini chips but this is what I really wanted to eat and it comes with yogurt and lemon I made these before and they're really good I'm excited I haven't had these in a while I like the combination with the yogurt because the yogurt is very cold and fresh and then the fritter is warm it's got you can see like the egg this one's a little too eggy for me but we both ordered the shrimp manta that comes with yogurt we actually didn't know we ordered the same thing until the waiter told us that it's the same thing this is really good so each little dumpling or manta has shrimp inside the shrimp is really good and flavorful so as much as we want to keep telling you about our food and how good it is we're pretty hungry and like we said it's late so we're just gonna eat and then we'll see you tomorrow morning see ya